Marcus, 51, is a manager. Angelina, 37, is a laundry owner. And Christian, 32, is an IT expert. Marcus would like to deliver his clothes to the laundry. But when he gets there, he realizes he's missed his chance. Ah, it's too late again. And I need that suit for my business trip next week. The owner of the laundry, Angelina, notices this problem seems to be happening more often. Her figures are getting worse because she's missing orders. How can I change my opening times to fit my customers' needs better? Angelina has an idea. If she sells all of her washing machines, she can invest the acquired capital and operate as a mediator in the future. She can then set up service points at the customer's premises so that laundry can be delivered at any time. She'll have the best customer service for miles. Angelina is also thinking about moving into the digital world. She is stumbling across methods, approaches and technologies, but also competitors in the market. She needs a solid business model. Digitalization, IoT, cloud, hmm. I think I'm going to need some help with all this. There are so many options, she's having trouble deciding which is the best one for her. So she meets up with IT expert Christian and together they define the requirements. Angelina would like to respond flexibly to market changes and she knows that good processes are the key to efficiency. In the long term, she wants a digital platform so that she can stay one step ahead of the competition. Angelina is an expert and knows exactly how she wants things to run, so she starts to model her business requirements together with Christian in BPMN 2.0 in the form of a graphical process. The customer delivers the laundry to the service point. The system should then automatically determine the best service provider based on ability, costs and other factors and send them an order. The service provider can accept or reject the order. If the service provider rejects the order, Angelina will choose the next service provider herself. After accepting the order, the service provider picks up the laundry, washes it and brings the clean laundry back to the service point. The customer gets a message and can pick up the fresh laundry. Christian takes the business process model and adds the technical aspects in separate process models. This procedure is called the process-driven approach. It gives Angelina the flexibility to tweak her processes without changing the whole system, while Christian can optimize technical components without Angelina having to worry about the changes. This process section runs in S4, this in C4C, and the interaction is controlled by a process engine. Christian can transfer the business processes exactly as they are into a process engine due to the BPMN 2.0 standard and the clear separation between business and technical process sections. One-to-one -one transformation of the process into a process engine. Christian has subdivided the architecture into four levels. UI to allow people to interact with the system with the help of Fiori interfaces. Integration to integrate service providers' systems. Orchestration to control the business process flow with the help of SAP Workflow Service or SAP Process Orchestration. Back-end to handle various standard processes. The service point is integrated into the process with the help of IoT sensors. Customers love the new service and use it more and more often. Angelina's customer base is growing. Business is really picking up. After some time, Angelina notices that the number of orders is dropping off. Hmm, something's going wrong. What could it be? After a brief search, she finds that a competitor has had the same idea and is offering the same service. As the competitor is cheaper, Angelina is starting to lose business. We can't have that. Angelina considers how she can adapt her business model and adds another activity to the process model. Hmm, if I just... Thanks to the process-driven approach, it's easy to tweak the system so that Angelina's idea becomes reality. Instead of placing all orders with service providers, she invests into new machines by using the one capital, takes most of the orders herself and only places orders that exceed her own capacities. Angelina changed her business model and the margin increased. Result, she's much happier with her figures again. Now that's a lot more like it.